The meeting held at Otapi also raised concern of low water pressure, aging infrastructure, and unsuitable underground water due to salinity. Uh, it's pipelines everywhere, um, but then the, the, the system that brings water to feed this uh, many, many, many pipelines is the same that was in place before independence. And therefore we are really working hard now to replace all those uh, old infrastructure, whether it's the canal, or the people plants, pump stations, we are replacing all of them so that uh, we can be able to, to catch up with the demand so that at the end of the day we have the capacity to supply which is higher than the available demand. Other challenges faced in the northern regions are rampant theft of water infrastructure, vandalism and a lack of tank trucks to ferry water to the water-starved communities. There is an estimated $3 million needed to construct short-kilometer water pipelines in Ohangwena and $44 million for the construction of booster pumps in the same region. We have uh, about 1,439 water points in, in the region. 362 are boreholes, while 1,077 are uh, water point pipelines. We have also connected uh, about 12,000 individual households. That's a private of take in the region. He says 15 million is also needed to drill new boreholes at about 30 villages in the region, as well as 40,5 million to set up a desalination plant at the already drilled boreholes with salty water. Omsati Governor Erginus Enjala wants a lasting solution to water problems. Omsati stand at 88.9 compared to Oceana with 98.0 Oshikoto and Ohangwena 90.2 and, and 84.3 respectively when it comes to the provision of safe drinking water. That is the statistic they're talking about, safe drinking water. Although we have good indicators in terms of <coughs> statistics, many terms continue to be dry for a long period due to low pressure or even just not accessible at all when it comes to water supply. 